What is chakras? What are the chakras? And what is chakra meditation or kundalini meditation? Why does it matter for meditation? Stay with me in this video and you will find out more. Hi there, meditator. Welcome to episode 59 of Master Your Mind Daily, your daily source of inspiration for all things meditation, anxiety, and personal growth. My name is Giovanni Dinsman. I'm the author of Practical Meditation and the creator of livingthere.com, one of the top five most popular meditation blogs on the web. And today we are talking about chakras. So first, a quick question for you. Have you tried chakra meditation? If so, please write yes in the comments. And if no, please write no. So chakra meditation is where meditation starts becoming a bit more of an esoterical or metaphysical subject. So this will not interest everyone. Some people just want a very secular approach to meditation. But chakras, they are not something that you find on your physical body. They are something that you find in your energy body, also known as your subtle body. So if you are just interested in secular meditation, if you are an atheist, if you don't believe in anything that is not physical and the five senses, then this type of meditation will not, probably will not make too much sense for you. But if you are open for these deeper aspects of meditation practice and teaching, then this is something I recommend you try. So chakras are energy centers. They are... So what happens is, according to the yogis who have studied consciousness, the body and the mind for a very long time, we have not only this physical body, but also an energy body. And just like in this physical body, blood flows through the veins, in the energy body, energy or prana flows through some small tubes known as nadis. And where all of these energy um, highways meet, they are the chakras. So they are very important points that we can use them for meditation. We don't need to, but we can. And they contain certain information in them, certain abilities and states of consciousness and so by familiarizing yourself with a certain chakra by focusing on them you bring more energy to that aspect of yourself so there are seven chakras the first one is at the root of the spine okay known as the root chakra it's very much connected with um, survival and also a sense of security, existence, and safety. Then the second chakra is uh, the sacral chakra in front of the, uh, sorry, behind the pubic bone. And that is connected to, to sex, to pleasures, creativity, and also the unconscious mind. Then the third chakra is behind the belly button and that is the navel chakra. This chakra is very important for physical health. It's related to health in general, willpower, self-assertion, action. It's your ability to make things happen. Then the fifth chakra is the heart chakra in the middle of the chest. And that is connected to art, to love, emotions, um, spirituality, awakening, connection with something deeper, service, compassion. And as we go up, then there is the throat chakra. And that is connected to self-control, the ability to be happy and at ease under all circumstances, and the ability to express yourself. And it's also connected to longevity, the ability to heal the body and allow yourself to live longer and healthy. 
The sixth chakra is here in between the eyebrows. It's actually in the center of the brain. And that chakra is connected to wisdom, intuition, um, also willpower, and higher faculties of the mind and psychic experiences. And then finally, the seventh main chakra is the crown chakra on top of the head, and that is connected to spiritual awakening. So each of these seven chakras, there are actually many chakras. There are 112 main ones. These seven ones along the spine are the most important. And so they can, use, they can be used for meditation. And the chakra that you use for meditation, that chakra will get more energy and those qualities will be more alive for you in your life. So it's important to choose the right chakra, the chakra that you need more of in your life. So for instance, if you would like more health and vitality and willpower and ability to make things happen, you could meditate on the navel chakra, the solar plexus chakra. If you want more wisdom, intuition, spiritual awakening, you can focus on this chakra, also power of concentration. Right? If you want to feel more safe, more grounded, you can focus on the root chakra, etc. So how do you actually meditate on the chakra? There are many different ways, but the most basic way is by moving your awareness to that part of your body. So if I'm meditating on the throat chakra, I would move my awareness to the throat chakra and I would stay there. Just like if I kick an object by mistake and my toe hurts, then for some moments all my awareness goes to the toe. It's as if I am inside the toe. So likewise, you develop this ability to, to move all your awareness to that chakra, let's say this one. And then it's as if you are inside there. Your whole being is inside there. That's one aspect of it. And then once you focus on the location of the chakra, then you can use a mantra, you can use a visualization, or you can use breathing. So let's say that I am focusing on this chakra. Then a breathing would be, I imagine myself breathing in and out through that chakra, in and out. So you're syncing your breath with chakra meditation. If you want to use mantra, you would repeat the mantra that is specific to that chakra. You could repeat other mantras, but I would recommend that you repeat the syllable mantra for that chakra. And if you want to know more about these, you can check page 100 of my book. Um, it will tell you the, the mantras. And so, so you can repeat the mantra. So for this mantra, for this chakra, it is the mantra OM. So you would focus here as if your whole being is here and you could breathe in and out from here, imagination. And then you can repeat the mantra OM as a pulsation. Imagine that it's pulsating here. And it's the same way with any of the other chakras. Apart from this one, this one doesn't have a mantra, it's just silence. The other ones is all the same. And then you could also visualize a sphere of light of a specific color for each of the chakras. And if you want to learn chakra meditation more step by step, I recommend you join my Limitless Life program. I will add the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about the third eye meditation specifically, I made another video just about the third eye meditation and it's episode 38 of Mastery Your Mind Daily. So you can refer to it right there. So that's what I had to say about chakra meditation. In summary, chakras are energy centers in the body. They are not in the physical body. They are in what the meditation masters call the energy body or the subtle body. 
and you can use them for meditation. The way you do that is by focusing all your awareness on that spot and you can imagine yourself breathing in and out through that chakra. So if you're using the throat chakra, for example, you would focus all your awareness down here and imagine that you're breathing in and out through your throat. And then you can also visualize a sphere of light in that chakra and it's a different color for every chakra. And you can also repeat a short one syllable mantra for that chakra. And to learn more about how to follow this meditation in detail, then you can join my Limitless Life program. I hope you have found this useful. And if you know of anyone who might be interested in this topic, then please share the video with them or tag them in in the comment. This was episode 59 of a series of 100 videos. If you want to make sure that you don't miss the future videos, then like and follow the Facebook page of Living There or subscribe and turn on the bell if you're watching it on YouTube. Happy growing!